Hello everyone, Hero here, here and welcome to today's Off Meta Build. Now, when was the last time you created a all blinding focus build in game? You may have done one at least once in PvP or even PvE when grenade launchers were popular, but since then they've been rather quiet. Which is why today I want to show you just how fun they truly are with the new arc update. I'm making not only our subclass blind and based, but also our weapons and exotic, so you can chain blind someone to the point that's considered online bullying. Great build that is fun to essentially run around with and make content even more easier if you are tired of using the most meta build out there. So, like always, if you guys like the content, then why not leave a like, a sub, and turn on your notifications for more content like this in the future, as I would really appreciate it. Making a flashbang grenade is pretty simple if you get with the basic idea of getting a grenade launcher with flashbang rounds and then grenades itself. But if you want to make more use of the build so it's incorporated fully, then you will need to see what options are available, look at what it can link into and then build it up until you get a working product, like most builds we do. So let's go over the subclass items used first so you can see how I coordinate this properly. We have flow state where defeating a jolted target makes me amplified, while amplified our dodge ability charges faster, reload speed is greatly increased and you become more resilient while dodging. We then have Lethal Covenant where after dodging your next melee hit will have increased lunge, jolt targets and create an aftershock effect on impact. For fragments you want Sparkle Discharge where your arc weapon final blows can create iron traces, a spark of beacons where while being amplified your arc special weapon on kills can create a blinding explosion, a spark of shock where your arc grenade jolt targets and a spark of brilliance where upon getting a precision kill on a blinding target they will create a blinding explosion on death. For stats we have 80 mobility, 70 in resilience and 70 in discipline. For key mods we have elemental ordnance for creating wells via grenades, a powerful well for plus 2 wells created, reactive pulse where upon being charged with light, taking damage will emit an arc blast to those around you, a powerful fend for a plus 20 mobility and additional benefits, and elemental charge for becoming charged with light via elemental well. As you can see with the fragments used, I intend to lean right into the flashbang aspect of the setup, with flashbang grenades being useful for spamming, jolting and blinding anyone even near it, while our main weapons can produce flashbang effect as well upon kills, or just from the special weapon on its own. And all of this is possible just from being amped at all times. Because of how heavily we'll be relying on this one aspect, I would advise you to have the amped up mod to extend your amp time frame for longer. Even if you decide not to use this one mod, you still have plenty of ways to become the amped and keep the flow of the setup going for as long as you like, you just need to find a way to maintain it yourself. For weapons, I would advise you to have one weapon with demo built into it and from there I would then advise you to have a grenade launcher or a fusion rifle for the secondary. I only say this as these tend to be the best weapons to inflict high damage on targets and are much more easier to use with less risk involved. If we take my primary for example, which is the horror story AR with ambitious assassin and demolitionist, the following will be helpful in terms of getting easy energy back and having a good overflow mag size upon kills you get with it. If you intend to face a barrier champ by any chance, then this could be useful for breaking their shells quickly and still have enough ammo left over to do a bit of damage here and there. At the same time, the weapon sadly cannot be gotten until probably next Halloween event comes by, so it's best you don't fret about getting the following setup and weapon itself. If you have done the raid though, then the submission SMG from Val is a good alternative, while Smite and Moraine is the best option to pick if you want long to mid range weapon on spare and some great perk combos to add. In secondary we have the new Delicate Tomb Fusion Rifle, which I found was a great match to add for the following setup as it can both jolt and create other traces for us. You can go with any fusion or grenade launch you like, but I found that the delicate tomb provides quite a bit of benefit to us and build as a whole. I want traces on kills allows us to build up ability energy faster and thus allows us to stay amped for longer. From here it can then become overcharged and jolt targets on kill, so if we manage to kill and then blind a group of ads with it, we can then jolt them as well and net even more kill bonuses from it as well. Once you're on the roll with this weapon, it starts to feel like you're playing Doom with the BFG with how fast you move and kill things. But as I said, you can choose any arc special weapon you like, for example, a dead messenger with this will allow you to blind on a wider scale and do more damage within this field. 
forbearance with chain reaction will allow you to blind and do further additional damage on top of what you're doing. Cold Heart now and Divinity can bring some interesting takes to the table if you really want to make these exotic even more exotic in name, etc. You have so many ways of going about this, I would highly advise you to explore it before settling in. For stats, you want to invest in both mobility and discipline, and although I would say strength and intellect as well, both of these aren't as important to the first two. Mobility will need to be high as you will be using the bombarders as well quite a bit. From 80 to 100, this will be the ideal spot to aim for as this will allow you to passively regen at your own pace, while you also rely on elemental wells and traces to filter in anything left over. Not everyone will have the powerful friend mod, which is understandable. So instead, I would recommend you pump up the stat to at least 70 if possible and use weapons with demo perk so you can create worlds as much as you can and thus get the needed energy as required. Alternatively, the Spark of Focus mod is useful as it can regenerate class ability faster than normal, but it will mean that you will need to take out another fragment to do so, so do look over this first before making a final decision. Discipline at 70 is a good area to aim for, but it can be increased to 100 or increased in general if you have the armor stats to do so, but investing in resilience would probably be a better choice. We don't have Ashes Assets this time for increasing how fast we get our super, and we only have Elemental Ordnance, Balfour Well, and Demolitionist all helping us get our grenades back faster, which to be honest, is working out pretty well. Flashbang grenades have a relatively low cooldown rate compared to all the other grenades in game, so having a grenade stat at 70 is pretty good to aim for and stick with. Going higher is up to you, but if you have the following then you should be peachy from here on out. The strength and intellect fall around the 30 areas, and although we'll be using them quite a bit, we won't be using them heavily like most of the time, so keep them how they are unless you plan to use them more compared to what is shown. Left over wise, we have Harmonic Siphon mod for allowing us to create orbs of power via matching elemental type, Fusion Rifle Ammo Finder mod for finding more ammo when equipping a Fusion Rifle, Invigoration for reduced melee cooldown upon orbs of power collection, a Fusion Rifle Scavenger for increased reserves, and Lightning Strikes twice for increased grenade regen upon using them. Now with the main bases covered, let's take a look at the mod we are using and how they play within the build. For head, we have Resilience, Harmonic Siphon, Fusion Rifle Ammo Finder, and Elemental Ordnance mod. Arm, we have Resilience and Balfour Well mod. Chest, we have Resilience, Film Shot Plating, Cursive of Dampener, Reactive Pulse mod. Leg, we have Minor Mobility, Fusion Rifle Scavenger, Invigoration, and Powerful Friends mod. Cloak, we have Lightning Strikes Twice, Amped Up, and Elemental Charge mod. And carrying on with the off meta ideas, Blinding Grenades and Blinding Base setups have always been a mixed bag for users in game. Since their introduction, they never really shined as much until Grenade Launcher became popular one season long ago, and their usage around end game since then has always been remarkably powerful to use. In PvP, they can become a menace in the right hand, and also pretty scared to face against. While in PvE, they can make the most toughest content in game an absolute breeze. This is why I wanted to create a build focused just around that idea of blinding everything non stop through abilities and swords. The last time I did something like that was for the Titans with double flashbang grenades and grenade launcher, which was fun but simple at best. With Arc Fragments, we can now expand this usage a lot more. For example, using Spark of Beacons, while amplified, our Arc Special Weapons can produce a blinding effect on kills, which isn't big, but it's enough to blind a small knit group. We then have Spark of Brilliance, where defeating a target who's blinded via precision damage can also produce a blinding effect. This here was never possible before unless you had just grenades, but now we can use our special weapons of choice and pretty much blind anyone non-stop or until we become not amped. To add on to this, we then have bombarders with his ability to blind after a dodge, and then of course our flashbang grenades with their effects, etc. It's pure dumb fun which shows off the capability of blinding effects and what happens when you lean heavily into them. Become Amped will allow you to pretty much blind a room back to back and prevent any sort of fighting for you. Now I know most people will be thinking, so how does this work in the end game? And while it does make your life easier on the front, it's also not as powerful to use in anything above master level content because of how the setup works. You see, your grenades and subclass choice is fine to use, but your arc special weapon may be a problem if you don't pick a correct weapon that fits the environment well. 
If you decide to play anything that requires all three champions to be played against, then you will need to take this into accommodation as to what the best plan of action will be, which can make some of your fragment choices redundant at times. But the main issue here will be the special weapon of use, as any arc special weapon is fine to use, and I find that grenade launchers like Forbearance and Fusion Rifle with Reservoir Burst is a go-to you want to have. It's just depending on the map you play and the enemies you will also face. But do remember, this build isn't designed for GMs or anything more than that, but instead it's designed for off-meta loadouts for when you want to control rooms or mess around with friends or even use it for certain raid encounters with new like folks. I wanted to create something that would take the edge of players and just enjoy the build for what it is as not everything needs to be endgame focused. So there you have it. What do you think? Have you wanted a reason to use flashbang build but never knew how to? Tell me in the comments section and enjoy the many off meta builds to come. So if you enjoyed the video then please leave a like a sub and also follow me on Twitter to keep up to date with more Destiny news and content. Once again, thanks for stopping by, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one.